This is Dr. Shailesh Kumar Garge, vascular intervention radiologist. So today I'll demonstrate a case of uh, PICC line placement in a patient who uh, need a long-term antibiotic and chemo. So we have taken an access into the basilic vein just below the elbow region and we have passed the wire so it is freely going. Now we'll try to place a peel away sheath and then try to paste the catheter and confirming the desired location we'll uh, cut, cut the size of the, the catheter and then the rest of the things will be just to secure the catheter. So I removed the IV cannula and over the wire I am placing the peel away sheath. So this will go through the basilic vein uh, and it will go into the vein. <laughs> so peel away dilator removed and through the peel away sheath I am passing the Groshank's catheter single lumen. So there I am passing the catheter you see that it is going along the course of the superficial and then entering into the deep system at the level of the axillary and then going. And once the length is confirmed, I remove the peel away sheath. So after peel away sheath, once the length is confirmed, I am removing the stellate inside which is there in the Groshong's single lumen catheter. So I have attached this butterfly at the entry and then I have passed the um, tube through this length segment. Now attach it, uh, attach it to the, once we uh, determine the length and we will cut this, this extra thing. So we can uh, we can attach the thing. So I'm cutting the extra length of the tube. So I just cut the extra length of the tube and then I, I'll attach this. So once we attach the uh, the tube to the uh, this butterfly, then I'm sticking it to the skin with an adhesive. So this is the complete now set. So now you, you can use this hub for uh, giving the antibiotics and chemotherapy for long term. So the backflow of blood is coming, so it means that we are into the correct lumen and it's fully flowing. And then I'm flushing with the heplop. So there you can see that we are given the dye and confirm that it is into the uh, SVC RA, just near the SVC RA junction. And then you know, I'm securing it with the uh, suture. So I have secured the this butterfly at the puncture site with the suture that is uh, 3-0 suture, 3-0 proline we have used and now it's almost done, now we just <coughs> put some adhesive and then uh, we'll send the patient back for the uh, uh, chemotherapy and the antibiotic therapy. So this is a 4 French Groshong catheter we have placed through the basilic vein in the proximal forearm and it has reached till the uh, uh, till the S SVC and RA junction. So this is a placement of the uh, the PICC line uh, in a patient who required long term chemotherapy. So this is the uh, final screening. The tip in the uh, right uh, SVC and the right uh, atrium junction. So this is the placement of the PICC line or the peripheral insert central catheter in a patient who required long term antibiotic or the chemotherapy. So you have seen a, play, uh, a placement of the PICC line that is peripheral insert, inserted central catheter in a patient who required uh, long term antibiotic or chemotherapy. This is Dr. Shailesh.